Hey you guys, it's Jessica. Username is Jessicakes. Today is October 15th, 2018. Um, and I am here to do my week eight post-op lap band to VSG conversion surgery update video. Um, I have scoured the entire house for some semi-decent lighting and this is the best I could find at this time of night so it is what it is um i will start with stats my um my starting weight uh was 236 pounds um and that was back uh thanksgiving of last year surgery weight was 213 pounds um eight weeks ago Last week was 192.2, and this week is 192.2. I always weigh on either Thursday or Friday every week. Um, and so that means this is my third weigh-in at 192.2 pounds. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I think most of that has to do with the choices that I've been making. Um, I, but I also don't want to discredit myself because I think I have been doing pretty well under um, certain circumstances. And I'm happy with the way things are going. I, um, I don't feel overwhelmed with this whole weight loss journey. I don't feel like it's controlling me. I do think about it often. I try to make good choices. And, um, you know, obviously my, my, if you've watched my other videos, um, my goal or my main priority is, um, being pregnant and growing a baby. So, does that mean that making poor choices is okay? Um, I think it is okay. I mean, it's okay for everyone to make poor choices. No one is perfect. It just depends on what your goals are and how fast you want to get there, I guess. So th my main struggle is dealing with like head hunger and pregnancy cravings. Um, I do know that they're pregnancy cravings because they get a little wackadoo, like there be like something, whoa, the light just went all funny. Um, there'll be some things that are just really like out there and weird um, and very specific. So that's weird because I didn't really have that with my first baby. But um, I think another problem that I'm running into is I've been really, really focused on my workouts and going to the gym um because it, it makes me feel really good and it makes me feel strong and capable and normal and um i i haven't really figured out eating around my workouts um i do feel since i do weight training i feel like i do need some kind of sustenance before i go um so I eat a little bit before I go. I usually have like my breakfast um, before I go to the gym and then I'll go to the gym and then I need protein within 20 minutes of weight training. So then I'll have protein, but I'm not quite ready for lunch yet. So with all of that, like I end up eating. So my plan, I should be eating three meals a day plus, oops, three meals a day plus a protein supplement or a snack and with what I've been doing and my schedule and the workouts it ends up being three meals a day plus a protein supplement plus a snack so I'm eating a little bit extra more than I need to um, I think if I got the timing down properly um, I could do it a little bit better um, that being said I am not focused on counting calories, but I have been tracking my food because I want to track my protein. Um, and I've been eating 
more along the lines of 1200 calories a day um, rather than like a thousand calories a day. Um, there was one day I got up to 1400 calories a day and um, I really think if I was eating like just protein that um, I would get full faster and it would end up being less calories. Um, sometimes I eat like sandwich thins or like thin slice of bread, like I make a little sandwich and I don't really need that because if I just ate like like turkey roll-ups, I would get more full faster and a lot of people have problems with bread and I find that um, I don't. <laughs> so um, I, I, I also know this was a trick, a trick from the lap band days when you toast bread it's a lot easier to eat um it doesn't get stuck so um so yeah i've just kind of been messing around <laughs> i've been doing a lot of like tr testing testing things i had a piece of pizza this week um and you know i i track it i i don't have more than I need to. Um, I stop when I'm full. So I don't know. It's, it's obviously why I've been maintaining my weight and not losing. So whatever, <laughs> I guess, um, that's something I'll work on. But as far as my little chart goes, I've been doing okay. <laughs> I've been doing pretty well. Um, I had some car issues. Well, my husband had car issues this week. Um, so getting to the gym was a little difficult, but I am very, very proud to say that I made it work. I made it happen. So um, if you look at, I don't know if it's focused, this, this week too, um, the lines going straight across are all of the workouts that I did. So there's one right here um, where I missed my lower body workout on on Friday because um, that's when the car issue happened. So I missed my lower body workout. But on Saturday, which is this day right here, um, it was supposed to be my rest day, but I replaced it with my lower body workout. So I still got my my three days of weight training and two days of cardio in for that week. So I was really proud of it because I didn't just say, F it, I missed it, so whatever. I like actually got in and made up for it. Um, there was also um, a day where I was supposed to teach my classes and I, I taught them, but I taught them from out of the water and I didn't really do it. I was just calling out what people were supposed to do. Um, and that's cause I was just feeling a little weird. Um, I think it was like pregnancy tiredness. Um, and my, my blood pressure was a little high, so I didn't want to get in the water and do a workout. Um, cause the water is really warm. So, I mean, I listened to my body. I don't knock myself for not getting cardio in that day either. Um, and then as far as doing like a, so a full star, see these days are like full star days. That's when I do all four of my goals. Um, I only got two full star days this week and those were on the weekends. And, um, uh, it looks as though I've, I had a problem getting in my water and getting in enough, um, protein. I know I made it close to my protein and water goals most days, but I don't get to like mark off my, my goals unless I, unless I reach the goals. So, um, I have three days left until Hawaii. So it is going to be really important for me to get my three days of weight training in, um, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday before I go my plan. So I'll, I'll actually check in with you guys before I go to Hawaii. Um, I wanted to do a, a clothing haul video or like a try on 
I don't know, people do it where they like try on the clothes and then you guys get to see. Um, so I was going to do that. Um, and then I'll, I'll weigh myself, um, on Thursday this week. So in three days, um, instead of Friday and try to do a video before I go. Um, my plan for Hawaii is, um, try to do either walking or swimming every day for at least 30 minutes. And that's, that's all. But I want to do something active every day because I know I'll be eating a little bit more. Um, and yeah. So to uh, backtrack a little bit, uh, I told you my, my calories were up to about 1,200 to 1,400 calories. And um, my surgeon said that he, he wanted me to get, try to get up to a cup pretty quickly um, so that I could get my calories up so that I wasn't like closer to 600 calories. I was closer to like 1,000, 1,200 calories. Um, and I think I'm pretty dang close to a cup. I can eat a cup of yogurt. I could eat a cup of cottage cheese. Um, and then I don't really know how to like measure like chicken. I've been weighing things out just to see like how much I can eat. So like things like chicken or ground turkey. Um, I made some like taco bowls, which had like, um, uh, refried beans and cheese and ground turkey those kind of things I can eat like six ounces so I know eight fluid ounces is a cup but I don't know what a cup is in like food because I'm not gonna like stick all of my food into a cup and then measure it like that I don't know so six ounces like four to six ounces most of the time um, of that kind of stuff and then more like liquidy a little bit more soft foods I can eat a cup so um, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be I think it maybe I'm a little bit faster than most people at this point um, I think part of it might have to do with me having the lap band before I don't really know I don't know um, and then just one one last quick thing um, a few people, uh, Annette, Annette, um, she has asked me to do a comparison of the lap band and the sleeve. And what I can say right now is that the sleeve is 100 times better than the lap band. Even like in the beginning, everything about it is so much better. If you are considering doing a revision surgery because the lap band is giving you problems, please just do it. Like don't waste your time any longer because it's so much better. Like my way of life is better. There's so like the variety of food I can eat is better. I don't have this anxiety of like, Oh my God, like I can't eat in front of people because I'm going to, I never know when I'm going to throw up. Like it's so much better, but I want to do a whole video on like comparing, but I still haven't tried a lot of foods with, um, with the sleeve yet. Um, I'm still kind of like transitioning. So I want to give it like quite a few months, um, to see how my weight loss goes. I know my situation's a little bit different, um, but I want to see kind of how my weight loss goes, how I'm feeling, how my heartburn's doing, um, and try a lot more different foods before I actually do a full video comparing the two. Um, but as of right now, I can say I, I would never, I would never have gone back and changed my decision to get this done. Um, and yeah, so, um, that's that. And I will, um, come and check in with you guys later. Okay. Hope you have a good week. Bye.